Hi everybody, this is Ms. Sparks. I teach U.S. History. Um, I have in a regular level U.S. History for period 3-4 or block 2. And I have two honors classes, period 5-6 and 7-8 or blocks 3 or 4. Um, this video can serve as purpose of explanation for both classes. A little bit later I'll get into the differences between honors and regular so um, the honors folks can stay tuned. Um, but for now this information pertains to everyone. Um, we cover in U.S. history this ninth grade course, we cover from a reconstruction of the Civil War review to present day. So it's about 160, 170 um, years of information. Uh, we move pretty quickly. Um, we get into a lot of interesting topics. I think every student finds something that they really like, um, whereas other topics you might not be too keen on, um, but we you definitely find something that you like. A lot of kids end up really liking Great Depression and World War II time period. That tends to be one of the more interesting units. We dive really deep into a lot of the different um, aspects of both of those events and almost kind of experience it um, as if we were there as much as we can. Um, so that being said, I try to be interactive. I try to do a lot of um, technological things in class um, and I hope we all have a good time together. Um, on the first day of class we'll review the syllabus and we'll go into all of the information that uh, we you need to know as students in class. Um, if you're watching this video I'm just going to give a brief overview. I'm not going to read you word for word the syllabus or anything like that but I do want to direct some of my um, my information in this video towards the parents that would want to know what's my kid doing in U.S. history. Um, so first place to start that we're going to start is actually on the Ken Island High School website. Um, that's what you see up on the screen. I'm going to go back to show you how I got here, but this is my teacher homepage. Um, if you are on, let's go back home. If you are on the homepage of the Ken Island High School website, you can hit teacher homepages and we're all alphabetical. I'm under S, under Sparks. Um, and that just gives a brief introduction of myself, um, contact information. Um, these are some history apps and resources that I always advocate for um, use at home. Uh, we do use this some of this stuff in class, but it is very helpful to have access to it at home if you're able. Um, the first two are review videos that come in different forms. Um, they're very entertaining. They're short. Um, it's not going to by any means teach you the material, but as a review, they can be used as little entertaining ways to study. Um, Quizlet is another great app, and this is actually an app on that, that students can get on their phones um, and a website. So you can make digital flashcards and study. Quizlet has a bunch of different games. Um, there's one where you can you have to like define all these all the words in your your deck of cards before like an asteroid hits the earth and stuff like that. So it's entertaining and it and it helps them study at the same time. Um, the most important aspect of my website for parents at least would be um, this area right here. I've got uh, links to important information. You can download the syllabus here. If you want to download the syllabus now, you are more than welcome to. It's up there and it's the updated version. Um, and then on under the upcoming assignments page, I have um, the things that are going on in class that you would maybe need to ask your student about. Do you have a quiz on Tuesday or when's your next test, when's this homework due, whatever. Um, these are more long-term assignments or things you would need know ahead of time. I don't update my website every single day. I do it every unit. So under upcoming assignments, there will be a list of everything that is pre-planned for the unit. So for example, right now, all I have up there is signed course syllabus is due on Tuesday, January 31st. And we are also going to have a map quiz that day. I'll give students the maps first day of class and they'll have them for a couple days and the weekend to review. It's just a blank map of the United States. So most of that should also be a review. Um, so that's what's coming up. I'll update this once these dates are gone. I'll update it with what's coming up next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open one of the syllabus, syllabi, I'm sorry, um, so that we can see how it downloads and just 
what you're looking for. I've condensed my syllabus into one page because let's face it, nobody likes to read a five page syllabus. So this is just your basic information, course description, required materials. We do do service learning in this class and more information will come um, up with that as we move forward in the semester. Um, an overview of the county grading policy and some examples of what we do in class. Um, unit study guides are the biggest thing. History is um, a lot of facts, a lot of information, and I give a study guide at the very beginning, and that's what we use kind of as a note-taking guide throughout the whole entire unit. Students have it out. They shouldn't have to do much of that study guide and vocabulary at home because they should be keeping up with it in class. Um, if they're absent, they just have to make up what they miss, um, and they have the three days to do that. Um, Google Classroom, we use on a pretty much daily basis. It's, for me, more of a storage area for class notes um, and, and information that we are sharing as a class and using as a class. I don't tend to grade a lot of assignments on Google Classroom. Um, I have stuck a little bit more to the paper pencil assignments, um, but Classroom is where they're going to access all the information and resources they need to complete those assignments. Um, in terms of parent access to Google Classroom, um, they actually, you actually can't access Google Classroom as a parent. However, on Classroom, I'll show you really quickly. This is now, this is what I can see on Classroom. Um, so this is a new class that I just made for this semester. But under where I click students, once the students are signed on to the Google Classroom, it will allow me to email and attach guardian emails. So what you'll get at the end of every week is just a brief overview of what we've done all week. Um, if there was an assignment on Google Classroom or the topics that we covered, you'll get a snapshot of what has gone on in this class so you can make sure that you are, are seen, prepared to help your student over the weekend or whatever. Um, the most, I guess, live version of their grade is going to be Parent Portal. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with Parent Portal. That's where I think the grades are kept, and you can check your student's progress there. Google Classroom, like I said, does send those alerts, but I don't grade anything on there. Um, I, I'm not going to grade something or enter grades twice. So I enter grades in the grade book, and that, that's what you see on Parent Portal. Okay. Um, we're going to go over this, this syllabus a lot more in class um, with the students. The students have more that they need to know on with this than parents do. Feel free to email or ask questions at any point. Um, I tend to respond to email very quickly. Um, so my email is listed on the syllabus, um, and my planning period is the first thing in the morning, so 7.45 to 9. Um, and if, so if you need to make a phone call instead of an email, that's the best time to reach me. Um, so at this point, that's the general overview of the class. Uh, if you're in honors, stay tuned for just one more minute. I just want to talk about the difference between honors and a regular level class. Um, if you're in my regular level class, I'm excited to meet you, and I will see you on Thursday. Okay. Hi, honors people. Um, the biggest question a lot of people, parents and students, ask me is what's the difference between honors and regular history because it's the same content, and that's not going to change. We study the exact same things as my regular class. However, um, we dive a little bit deeper. You are expected to um, be a little bit more analytical. Um, we look at more primary sources. We read material that is more difficult. Um, and we do a lot, little bit more writing. Um, you guys, I'm not saying an essay every day or every week. I'm saying we write more. You're expected to express your thoughts in writing. Um, in this class a little bit more than in a regular level class. So that's the biggest difference. Um, but again, we cover the same material. So because we get through the basic facts faster, we have more time to dive deeper and get a little bit more involved in the history um, and, and 
pick and choose different ways to go if we wanted. For example, if we are in the Roaring Twenties and we we really like a lot of us really liked the jazz aspect of the twenties. We can kind of sidetrack and go into um, a little bit of a mini jazz lesson and history lesson with with the music of the twenties. We have a little bit more freedom because honors level learns the basics faster. So then we have more time to explore some of the you know more interesting or um, deeper level things. So that's the biggest difference for honors. Okay. Thanks for watching. I appreciate um, your attention and please email or call at any time with questions. Students, I will see you on Thursday. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody. Thank you.